Hey team, it's me, your very first uh, online art class. I've got my cup of tea, I've got my sparkly lights on, I've got all my pastels ready. I'm uh, gonna give you a dazzling demonstration of my um, favorite floral meadows. Uh, and hopefully uh, you can give me some feedback on anything that you'd like me to cover over the next few weeks. Um, and uh, I shall keep you entertained hopefully with some useful tips and um, insider pastel uh, skills. Watch this space. So this is one of my favourite meadow scenes from the lovely Stuart's um, Garden Centre's display at the New Forest Show. Um, I was lucky enough to be in their beautiful flower meadow as part of their display um, the last year, but this is from several years ago. So I thought it was quite a nice one to uh, demonstrate um, a mixed media approach to pastels. So lots of you have been um, asking about using pastels with a liquefier and you can buy specialist liquefiers from places like Jackson's Art but I've been using um, uh, vodka because whilst um, some of the specialist um, uh, liquids um, do exactly a, a wonderful job um, they do actually not smell very well uh, nice and they've also got um, some quite heady effects if you're using them in small areas uh, I decided that um, vodka might well have the same quick drying uh, capabilities so I gave it a go and as far as I can tell um, it uh, doesn't seem to behave any differently so uh, the colours that I'm using are unison pastels. You can buy unison which are a beautiful handmade uh, quality uh, pastel. There are um, uh, entry level pastels which do um, as good a job but um, when you use pastels as much as I do you get to liking the way that a particular pastel handles and I think when you're using unisons you realize how beautifully they're blended and the colors are gorgeous to work with um, many many reasons um, you saw me then spraying uh, vodka lightly over the area that I've put a uh, pastel down on and then working over the top of it with a, a brush and I'm able to get a sort of painted feel and this also has the added benefit of using up all of the the pastel dust that you would normally um, have flying around that all gets used into the um, pastel uh, and one of the other lovely things is uh, I think you get a much purer color um, than if you're blending it with your finger say um, I rather like some of the painted uh, kind of uh, bits that you get left over um, and I'm trying to use all of the vodka that uh, is sprayed on the paper. I'm going to probably switch you off for a little bit while this dries. Okay so we're back and yes while I was waiting for the paint to dry I uh, actually sneakily um, started drawing the little shed on the top of the horizon there. Um, so I'm just going to start working over the top um, with a straw colour uh, and then I'm using white just to blend it in. Um, now it's a little bit damp and soggy so I probably will come back to that later on. Um, but for now I'm just adding in some green so I can use the liquefier again and I'm going to try and keep this nice and dark because I want to make sure that um, I get a lovely contrast between these beautiful white um, little uh, flowers that you can see on the horizon. So we've got a little bit of contrast to add. I'm going to put some green in front of the um, 
in front of the little building. Bring some green there. I'm probably going to bring a little bit of green along here. I could probably begin to introduce a few bigger uniform colours. So let's see if I've got some nice greens that would go in here. A little bit too dark. Um, so in order to lighten it up, I can just blend on the paper. Uh, the paper I'm using is a specialist pastel card, so it's um, Art Spectrum, which has got a lovely tooth to it. And I'm then able to build up the colours. So here's a little... little bit of colour there. Right, so uh, I'm just going to add some brighter greens on the top. So here's some brighter greens along the top of these little hedgerows. And then we've got some greens along here. And then I'm going to come down into this area and I know that I've got a lot of flowers to put on here. So I'm thinking that in order for those flowers to work, I want some contrast behind. Uh, sometimes when you're new to pastels, it's quite daunting to add that dark behind. But if you get the dark in there, then you will uh, get some great contrast to work over the top of. Um, so, we're using a little bit of... Hmm, a little bit of brown, maybe not quite the right colour. I might add some dark blue down here. And then maybe some darker green. The great thing about pastels is you can mix with them when they're on the on the actual paper. So I know all these colors are gonna be kind of the right thing. Um, I think I'm gonna, because I know that the pastels I'm using are quite bright, I think I'm gonna work over the top of the green base. But sometimes if I was leaving, I had a particularly dominant flower in the foreground that I wanted to leave a space for, I might leave a gap in the actual picture. Now, This is all looking rather lovely. So I need a nice brush now to blend in those greens. I'm gonna take my vodka, give it a good spray. And then I'm going to let it dry, so I'm just going to switch you off for a little bit. So, I've been fiddling around with the sky and just doing some little details on top of the um, little building. Um, I'm keeping it all fairly loose at the moment. Um, I'm just trying to get an idea of some of the colours I'm going to be working on top of. Um, this is all beginning to dry now which is quite nice which means I can begin to work over the top of it. Um, this is uh, one of those things that takes a little bit of a, a time to uh, build up so what I'm going to try and do now is speed up the film so that you guys get to enjoy the meadow grow. It takes ages to create 
uh, the intricacies of a meadow, but it's great fun. And um, I think the other thing to remember is you don't need to follow my picture. Um, you can make up your own meadow. And if you want to have different colour flowers, you can. But the uh, thing to remember is that in the background there are smaller marks and the colours are less intense because that creates a sense of perspective. And as the flowers come towards you, the marks get a bit, uh, bigger and the colours get brighter. And that gives an illusion of the depth of um, a meadow stretching out in front of you. Um, it's a lovely thing to lose yourself in um, and uh, I hope you all enjoy doing it as much as I am. Um, I will uh, do some more at super speed um, and uh, I'll get back to you in a little bit when I'm doing some of the finishing off.